apparently, um, I have something else on my heart and soul. I believe that, you know, the Lord just tugs on my heart and I get an idea that I know is coming from Him because only the best ideas come from my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But I just want to come on here to say, and I want to give a word of encouragement, this is definitely to those that are Christians. And I mean, they're serious about being Christians. They're witnessing to other people. They're witnessing to their family and friends. You know, you're repenting of your sins. You're really making an effort to live a holy, pure life. And I also understand, and I feel your pain, my true brothers and sisters in Christ, my true shipmates in Christ. We live in a world that's becoming more and more evil. The further along we go into the end days we're living in the we're living in the last days so this world is becoming increasingly difficult to live in especially as a true christian but i just want to reach out especially to my brothers and sisters in christ please don't give up especially for those that really read the bible you know that even though many people may persecute us, may pe many, many people may refuse to listen to us, but if you read God's word, there is people that are still going to end up being saved in the end. So, every little effort we make for the kingdom of God does make an effort. And, and let me tell you something, even if just one soul becomes a Christian, for you witnessing and going out there, it's a big deal. Don't you realize that God and the angels in heaven and Jesus Christ with every soul that is saved and, you know, repenting of their sins and, you know, they're living a holy life and they're going to end up going to heaven. Don't you realize that heaven is celebrating God the Father, the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ? You have no idea how happy they are just when one soul gets saved. Because each one of us mean that much to God. So please, even if only one person listens to you, don't give up. Because I can guarantee that there is going to be a few that are going to become Christians in the end. They're going to wake up and see that us true Christians have been telling the truth all along. Once they repent of their sins and they start reading the Bible and the Holy Spirit becomes involved in their life, they're going to see the same things we see, as our Lord Jesus Christ instructs for us to look for in the last days, all the signs out there. I promise you that every little effort means the world. Not the world, like, you know, like worshiping the world. What I mean is it means everything. It means everything to God when one soul gets saved. And I know I'm not the big old Christian evangelist out there. I'm not all famous. I'm, I'm just a simple, lowest, you know, just a basic swabby in the kingdom of God. You know, a swabby is like a low-ranking sailor in the Navy or, or on a ship. I'm like a swabby in the kingdom of God. But it, it doesn't matter what you consider yourself. Rather, you're a swabby or you run a big mega church. If you truly are a true Christian, and you truly are preaching out God's word, you're preaching the truth. You're not just making up a bunch of crazy doctrine. You're actually sticking to the Bible, to the true word of God. I can guarantee you that it will make a difference. Yes. We live in the end times. Jesus, that's another big sign. There's a great apostasy, which is the great falling away, where a lot of people are going to turn against the Lord because they're deceived. Unfortunately, there are some people that will make up their mind that they're going to just give their soul to the devil. They're going to take the mark of the beast. They're going to just... God is going to give everyone a chance to repent of their sins and make that one final decision. They either serve him, or they're doomed forever because they serve Satan. But please don't think your efforts are not making a difference. 
you know, the Lord is doing awesome things in my life, and I give all praise and glory and glory to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I'm just a swabby. I'm just a the simplest of simple Christians. I don't got a big following on YouTube or a big old Facebook ministry. I'm not working in some big mega church or some huge ministry. But I know in my heart and soul that Jesus Christ is real. And everything he's been telling us for the last thousands of years, the last 2,000 years, have been true. We're living in the last days. And just as I said in my last video, just my very last video before this one, if you truly repent of your sins, and you got to keep repenting, remember, don't just think you can just do whatever you want. Because when you're a Christian, if you're a true Christian, you gotta make sure you repent. You gotta live a pure life. You have to mean it. You can't just fall for that once save, always save doctrine where you you say a salvation prayer and then you can just do whatever you want and live like hell and still go to heaven. No, no, no. Being a true Christian means you have to mean it with your whole heart and soul. You have to really mean it, and you have to really take it serious. You can't just do your own thing and expect God to let you in heaven. But I'm telling you, for those few true Christians out there that you're working really hard, and it seems like your family and friends are not listening to you, they are scoffing at you, please, don't let, don't let the scoffers, don't let, don't let Satan influence you by making you focus on the many who don't listen and causing you to become discouraged so you don't want to share the love of Jesus Christ and the, at the same time, you know, the, end, the warnings of the end time because this world is going to be judged. God does love us, but there's coming a time where He is... He's got to get the evil off this earth. You know, He has to. God can't let evil exist forever. He can't let the evil kingdom of Satan run forever. And there's a time where there's going to be a lot of judgment going on, which is called the seven-year tribulation. And once you really study your Bible and you really have the Holy Spirit working with you, you're going to know exactly what it means to what it means for the world during the seven year tribulation. It's no joke folks. You do not want to be on God's bad side then. But God loves you and he wants to save you. That's why he has you know his believers going out into the world and preaching. We're supposed to preach to the ends of the earth. Anyone who's a true believer of Jesus Christ you're not just wearing it as a title. You're not just saying it because you go to church on Sunday. I mean, you're really serious about being a Christian every day of the week. And if you make a mistake and you know it, you're you're wanting to repent right away. Just know that your efforts do count. And there is going to be at least one soul that's saved because you put the effort to go out there. So I just want to pretty much dedicate this video to encouraging the few true believers that are left that may be feeling downtrodden that may be feeling hurt and have a heavy heart because it seems like most of the world and most of family and friends can care less about us trying to reach out and, and warn them about what is coming but don't worry your efforts are not in vain so I just want to come on here and and say to all my brothers and sisters in Christ well, I call them shipmates because I guess I use a lot of nautical terms because I was in the Navy. I kind of like nautical terms. They're cool, but not just for the Navy. Just being a sailor in general. Well, remember that a couple of Jesus' disciples, at least, they were fishermen. So, Jesus' first disciples, some of them, were fishermen or sailors. So, hey, a simple fisherman, a simple swabby can even be used in the kingdom of God just to help save souls in these last days. So, 
Don't give up, brothers and sisters of Christ. And I love you, and I'm praying for you. Whatever happens, don't give up. Jesus is coming back very soon. Keep running the race. Keep your, your garments spotless. Keep repenting of your sins. And keep doing your best. Because... It's all, it's, it's all going to end up well for you. If you just keep on. Never give up. Don't let Satan pull you down. Don't let Satan discourage you. Just tell Satan to... You know, just tell Satan to get away from you in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm serious. He does not like that. Even a simple swabby like me can say that. And I can just feel the evil just run away from me. Just go completely AWOL. Because I know Satan's out there lying all the time, trying to tell people that our efforts don't mean anything. Especially to us true Christians are actually trying. Don't believe that. So, to my true brothers and sisters in Christ, don't give up. Your efforts do count. And for those brothers and sisters in Christ of mine that are not really wanting to witness and go out there and preach and warn their own family and friends... Come on, we need all the help we can get in these last days. Look, I'm not asking anyone here to be a great evangelist or a great big pastor and have a million subscribers on YouTube. Even if you just talk to your own family and your own friends and your own co-workers. Even if you just stay in your small circle of family and friends. Because I can guarantee there's at least one person there that really needs the Lord. And if you just... Give that a chance and talk to them. It'll make a difference. But don't just give up. Don't just slack off just because you think your efforts don't mean anything. Your time is running out, folks. But I just want to give some love and support to my brothers and sisters in Christ or my shipmates in Christ. Our efforts do matter. So, keep on towing the line. Because it's worth it. It's worth it. I guarantee it. God bless you all, and I'll be back again whenever I feel like chit-chatting. Or whenever the Lord puts something on my heart. Of course, the Lord wants me to say something, and I know it's Him, then I'm definitely going to obey Him. But, I'm not sure when that is, but I'll be back. But I just want to give this word of encouragement. Because I love all my brothers and sisters of Christ all over the world. Don't give up. And God bless. God bless you all.